third of the traditional process for quality improvements, plan, do, and check, this process is largely based on the check or inspection catching defects. However, catching defects implies the defects have already occurred. Uh -oh. While it's certainly better to catch a defect in inspection, it would be much better to control the process in such a way so the defect did not occur. To do this, we need to understand a little more. Traditionally, a process, materials, machines, and information are planned. On paper, the plan looks great. Then the do happens. After the output is produced, inspection jumps in and checks the part. The part either passes inspection or it doesn't. When a part or piece of information does not pass the inspection phase of a process, it is typically rejected as something that does not meet the requirements. The information from the rejection is then passed on to someone for feedback and eventually some form of corrective action, improvement, or root cause analysis. This sounds great, right? In many aspects, yes. Defects should never escape. The downfall in this traditional scenario is that the defect still occurred. And while you may catch and stop a million feedbacks, you are catching them after the fact, not preventing them. Dr. Shingo reminds us in his book, Zero Quality Control, Source Inspection and the Poke Yolk System, that an error is not a defect. Rather, the error causes the defect. With this powerful reminder, it is much easier to understand that we do not want to discover defects after they happen. We want to catch the error before it turns into a defect. In the ZQC system, this is done by creating an environment where the do and check occur at the same time. This helps ensure that the plan is executed the way it is intended, and if the plan is not correct, it is found right away. Essentially, the traditional method of quality changes from plan, do, then check to plan, do, and check. This scenario performs inspection right at the point or place where an error or problem could occur. This gives frontline employees who are doing the work an opportunity to detect and correct the error before their work is done. ZQC refers to this as source inspection or inspection that occurs at the source. When the inspection occurs right at the source, the feedback is instant and any problem that may have occurred can be corrected before the defect occurs. The zero quality control system works best with implementation of four foundational elements that we will introduce here. Source inspection, 100% inspection, short feedback loops, and polka yoke or mistake proofing. These four foundational elements have been proven to effectively help move from a process of inspection to an environment of a process control. We will discuss more in the coming modules.